and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Now is a time to celebrate. Now is a time to unite two souls. We are gathered together on this momentous occasion to witness and celebrate the wedding of Warnil Edgar Chavez and Margaret Ann uh, Giordini Sinam. We come together today not to mark the start of the relationship, but to acknowledge strengthen and bind in law a bond that has already existed between them. This wedding ceremony is a public and legal affirmation of that bond. And along with you, the dearest family and friends of Warnil and Margaret Ann, it is my honor and privilege to officiate the significant and very memorable event in their lives. Marriage is a lifelong commitment where two people can find and bring out the very best in each other. Marriage offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal. A physical and emotional joining that has the promise of a lifetime. Marriage is the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No, marriage is definitely not a bed of roses. In fact, it is an understatement to say that it is full of ups and downs. But as author Fawn Weaver aptly said, a happy marriage doesn't mean you have a perfect spouse or a perfect marriage. It simply means you have chosen to look beyond the imperfections in both. For divine law, marriage is a vow. But from a legal standpoint, Marriage is a special contract, a permanent union between a man and a woman entered into in accordance with law for the establishment of conjugal and family life. It is a special contract, and that is precisely why the groom and the bride will be signing a marriage contract after a wedding ceremony. Be that as it may, no wedding ceremony can create your marriage. Only you, the two of you, can create your marriage. And you can do that through love and understanding, through dedication and perseverance, through constant and open communication among others. What this marriage ceremony this afternoon can do is to affirm the choice that the two of you will make to stand together as lifetime partners. Now before I proceed with our wedding ceremony, I would like to apologize, but it is obligatory on my part to ask all the persons here present. Is there anybody here who objects to the marriage of Warnil Edgar Chavez and Margaret Ann Juridini Sinaho? If any of you has any legal or valid reason why this marital union shall not proceed, speak now or forever hold your peace. So there being no objection, let us proceed. Warnil and Margaret Ann, please stand. Cornel and Margaret Annans, please say these words or prayer together after me. May we have one heart and one soul from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. Well, so let's go to the exchange of rings. Forever and always. I promise to love you and honor you and respect you for all the days of my life. Now, Margaret and please do the same. Slowly place the ring on your groom's ring finger. As you say these words, Warnil, 
Wear this ring. Wear this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And honor you. And honor you. And respect you for all the days. And respect you for all the days. May you both learn to completely and wholeheartedly trust each other and recognize each other as equal partners as you go through your lives together. May you honor and love one another and be true to your marital vows. May your family and friends who are here present this afternoon help and guide you to be good parents to your children. May you live long years together to see and guide and nurture your children's children. May you both live together to a happy old age without any regrets, enjoying the fullness of life. And in your old age, may you walk into the sunset of life together and in heaven. and Margaret Ann admonish you both to always remain faithful to each other to persevere in love and faith in God and in one another. Margaret Ann, love your husband. Be a fiercely loyal and ideal wife to your husband. A loving and kind mother to your children. And always be the light of your home, especially in times of darkness and difficulties. And Warnell, love, respect, and honor your wife. I know it cannot be avoided that you will have arguments and disagreements eventually and you will hurt her emotionally. But never ever lay a hand on your eyes. Set a good example to your children and always be the rock and anchor to protect your family from every passing storm. To both of you, I urge you to never forget the essential obligations of marriage or loyalty. And lastly, to render mutual help and support. Finally, before we end our wedding ceremony, allow me to share with you this uh, beautiful passage taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4 to 8, 8 of the New International Version of the Bible. This biblical passage speaks of the nature of the ideal love that the two of you should strive to share as a couple. It states, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, 
always perseveres. Love never fails. And by the authority vested upon me, by Article 7, Paragraph 1 of the Family Code of the Philippines, calling all those present here as witnesses, Warnell and Margaret Ann, I now pronounce you man and wife. The ceremony is now ended. Warnell, let me now kiss you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Warnell and Margaret Ann Chavez. So I'll give them an